Oh, yes, I couldn't agree more with our guest. Welcome to the show, Ryan Stanek. That is a great thought. Hey, have you ever thought about giving that win to the starter? Like maybe just saying give it to him instead? <laughs> I mean, I assumed it was going to go to Hunter. I mean, he came in after me through three, three, three good innings. I, I assumed that I, I think in those situations, usually it's scores discretion, right? Like, I don't really know how yeah. that all works, but I figured they would give it, to, give it to him. I mean, he he covered the most innings out of anybody. Yeah, no, I, the, the W is whatever it goes. I want to go right to your shirt because the shirt was amazing. I'm a shirt connoisseur and I wear bad shirts, but that shirt was amazing. Who picked it out on the game day, please? Which one? Oh, the 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 collared shirt. Oh, yeah. that one. That yeah, was uh, that was actually yeah. one that. Yeah, that was just a shirt that my wife saw and thought it looked good and tried it on. And it was actually uh, didn't even have it in my size, so I had to wait wait on it. But uh, it was it's a good shirt. It was a, it was a it's a good look. Nailed it. Looks like a winner yeah. shirt to me. Now, <laughs> Ryan, you put the open <laughs> in opener. Uh, we uncovered this Ryan Sanig bottle opener and you get that from BK <laughs> are you are you guys like yeah. best friends are you guys best friends tell us he's, I mean I like Brian BK's he's always, he's always guy, treated yeah. me good <laughs> so how many of these do you have at the crib and how often do you use them by the way here let's get a it talks the game by using relief pitchers to start games in 2018 the concept is known I actually have a bunch of yeah. them. I, I typically, I actually kind of use them quite a bit, which is, I feel like maybe a bit big headed, but like, I mean, it's a good bottle opener. They're pretty fragile, but it's a good bottle opener. But uh, my mom and dad have like 50 of them. So I'm like, whenever they break, I'm like, hey, could you just send me one? <laughs> Good stocking stuff. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's really good. And we talked we talked before you came on about being a beer drinker. What kind of you're a gin cocktail drinker. You and your wife, you said your wedding. That's what you guys what cocktails did you guys make at your wedding? Um, she did a south side, which is more or less like a, a gimlet with some mint, and then like I did a bee's knees, which is basically like a lemon gimlet in some in some capacity with like honey instead of simple syrup. It just I don't know. It's something that she got me into and uh, yeah, I thought gin was pretty lame before, and then she she made me drink it, and I was like, okay, that's that's pretty 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 dang good. So I kind of stuck with it. Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, I, I do want to get into this roof open, roof close. You were an opener, maybe the first opener, and you've been a closer. Which one do you prefer on both? Hmm. Ugh. I mean, on the roof open or closed? I, yeah, yeah. I mean. I prefer the roof closed at all times. I think the, the the least enjoyable part of baseball is any kind of delay or any kind of like weird variance in wind and weather. I'm like, hey, put every put every roof on and and play the game without any any other interference. I mean, it's it's just simpler. It's a simpler game. I think like that's that like that's my thought. It's probably not not a. A, f a favorable thought to a lot of fans, but I think every stadium should have a roof. Yeah. Now, what about being a closer or an opener? Which one do you prefer? I mean, being a closer is tight. Not gonna lie, being a closer is really <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, but but the opener the opener gig the the opener gig was uh, was fun because I mean. You get to get your job done and know for a fact they cannot put you back in the game, especially if you did your job. You yeah. get to sit there and have the best seats in the house to watch a, ba a big league baseball game. Like you just get to sit in the dugout and watch for seven, eight innings. Like that's a that's a pretty sweet gig too. D-backs using yeah. an opener tonight, and you were basically a pioneer in this. But I, I'm being told that your wife was actually on Survivor. So how much comfort does it bring you that you guys are ever abandoned in the wilderness, that she can build you a fire to keep you warm? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Like, it was it was something that I didn't know when we first started dating, and, and she brought it up, and I was like, like that's actually awesome because I, I, was, I was a fan of the show, and, I mean, I'm I'm jealous because I would love to have a chance to do that at some point. I think it's 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 super cool. Um, so yeah, no, I think like she's she's a badass for being able to do that. Like I, that's that's something that like I was like I would be unprepared to do right now. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm proud of her for that. Yeah, you got that right, man. I mean, many a times I've been trying to start a fire out camping with my wife, and she looks at me and goes, 
Need a little hand with that? I could I could help you out if you if you need a little work. There. <laughs> but uh, a little bit more lighter fluid. Hey, I want to switch gears from baseball to football. University of Arkansas. You went to Arkansas Razorback. Now baseball's going on. You can't get to a game. November 11th. Will you be at that at that game against Auburn? November 11th. Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't made any plans yet, but we just had a, a newborn, so it's honestly pretty hard. It's going to be pretty hard for us to, oh, yeah, you're to not get getting anywhere. Out of the house. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 two weeks old right now, so like I don't know if I'm going to be able to, oh, congrats, to, to swing dude. that one. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah it's been nice. advice, ask from Kevin. Uncle Kevin. Seven-time seven father of the year up upper right there. Self-proclaimed, Ryan. Self-proclaimed Self father of the year, back-to-back -back <laughs> husband of the year in 2012 and 13. I've had this little gap. i got to get back on that track. But don't change the poopy diapers. Just play it off like that. Doesn't, you know, act like it doesn't make sense. You know, and just, honey, you know, plug your nose. And that's just a way to kind of get by that if, if, if you're trying to get by it. Just change the number ones. I think the hard, the hardest part right now is is like it's like my daughter is two, and changing girl diapers for me is actually way easier than the boy diapers because like the, the the dude wants to pee at you all the time and that's that's <laughs> stressful. Yep. Like it's like you're sitting there like trying to like block yourself. It's not that's not nearly as fun. <laughs> yeah, so true. It's tough. How many diapers have you changed? You can be honest. Oh, a lot, a lot. I try to help out as much as possible. Like, like, like that's the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my effort. Like, obviously gone a lot with, with doing this, but like, whenever I'm around, I, I try to do as much as I can to take the load off of, of her because I know she works her butt off to, to take care of the house. And when I'm home, I, I feel like I gotta, I gotta do my part. That's a real man right there. Yeah, yeah, you got <laughs> that right. Try to be. Those, those years will be gone in a heartbeat. You enjoy every bit of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I just, I just curious, like. You know, Dusty Baker, you, you've had a chance now for a couple years to be a, be around him. Um, the leader of that ship, you guys were down 2-0. Just talk about his cool calmness that, that kind of gets you guys back into this series. Yeah, I mean, he's just steady. Like, right now, it's 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 he's seen everything. I mean, he's been in the game for almost 50 years. Like, um, he just... It's like nothing catches him off guard, and it's it's a lot like like what what we feel like as a team is like been through a lot, been through ups, the uh, the downs, the good times. Like like you sit there and you 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 reflect on the things that you've been through, and you're able to kind of draw on a lot of experience that is hard to replicate without it. So like you you, you be in these situations, and you kind of know how to handle yourself, handle the mental part of it, handle like the outside stress and the noise, and try to just get back on track. And and I feel like. He's a good example from the top down of like what what this team's about. Yeah, no doubt about it. That, that, that makes sense because there is a lot of noise that goes on, especially when you lose first two, but it's a four game series and blah, blah, blah. You guys are draining the road and why is that? We don't know why. Who cares? I want to get right into hair because I've been trying to get this mullet rock and I'm, 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 I'm going to give you a little bit of what I got because you're the king of it right now. I need some, oh, I need some advice on it. But but I got a little bit of I got a little. I, mean, it's a, it's I had a, to do. That's a that's a damn good start. I mean I think the fact coming. now is you just keep the sides trimmed and just ignore the back and then whatever happens happens. It happens okay. I mean, it's yeah, meant to be I a just party. With it about two weeks ago. <laughs> Ryan, thanks so much for coming on the show. We appreciate of you course. being our guest today and best of luck through the rest of this playoffs. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Congrats it. again, too. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right, you. right. Thanks, man.